Hello, Victor Tay here from the church in Liverpool. Now this Sunday, I preached a sermon called Back to Christian Basics, and I preached on eight things that every Christian should be doing. So number one is Bible. Bible, reading your Bible. You know, Sunday cannot be the only time you see a Bible verse. You need to get to know your Bible. You don't want to be an ignorant Christian. We know plenty of people that are Christians. They don't know what they're talking about. They don't know what they believe. Don't let that be you. And number two is church. Too many Christians skip church way too often. You need to be at church every Sunday morning at a minimum. You know, I want my children to grow up knowing that church was a priority, that church was important, that it was more important than money, and it was more important than leisure. So, you know, let's build those good habits so that, you know, when they're older and they do something else on a Sunday morning, it's going to feel odd for them because they have these good habits growing up. Number three is prayer. You know, do you pray? Do you pray with your family? Do you pray for others? You know, it's a good practice to keep a list of prayer requests. Don't just rely on your memory. Number four is soul winning. Soul winning, evangelism, outreach. This is the main work of Christianity. You need to remember that church, social activity is not the end goal. What can you take with you to heaven? The only thing you can take is yourself by believing on Jesus Christ and other people by preaching them the gospel and persuading them to believe on the Lord Jesus Christ. You know, God does not want pretty plants that don't bear fruit. And, you know, if you're not winning souls, if you're not actively participating in evangelism, you will severely hinder your growth. You want to grow as a Christian? Try and get somebody saved and living for God because now it means you must learn and you've got to consider how you're perceived and you now have to be an example to them. Number five is communication. Christians ought not be swearing and talking, having dirty talk, dirty jokes. You know, I, I, I get people to think, you know, how do you want children to talk? Do you want children saying the F word and the S word and the C word? You know, I don't want children talking that way. I don't think Christians should be talking that way. And this is the problem with a lot of online influencers these days. Yes, do they have a lot of money? Are they very capable? Are they, you know, um, you know, a very uh, successful? Yes. I just wish they weren't such potty mouths, you know, because people look up to these people. Uh, people, you know, like Andrew Tate, a lot of young men look up to him. And yet, you know, is he being a good example to them, not just in success and in ideas, but also in maturity and the way he behaves? Number six is clothing. Our appearance, do we look modest? You know, a lot of people, a lot of Christians have this idea, oh, God just looks on the inward. The outward's not important, but that's not true. You know, yes, is the inward more important than the outward? Yes, but does that mean the outward doesn't matter? Of course not. And think about this. If man looks on the outward, if we want to reach unbelievers, we want to have an impact in the world, doesn't it matter? Because that's what they're going to look at, right? So if we want to reach them with what we have inward, they're looking at the outward first. So it's less important than the inward, but that doesn't mean it's not important. So as a man, look respectable, look mature. You know, as a woman, look modest, look pure. You know, there's a trend these days that all of these women are just wearing tight, revealing clothes like yoga pants all over the place. And that is not suitable for the Christian woman. So Christian woman, cover your breasts, cover your butt, cover your crotch, and dress modestly. Number seven is cleanliness. Cleanliness. Now, sometimes when the Bible when the Bible talks about uncleanness, we generally think about sexual immorality, and that goes without saying. But the point I was making uh, in my sermon on cleanliness is just general hygiene and cleanliness. You know, taking regular showers, you know, brushing, flossing your teeth, washing your hands, having groomed hair and groomed nails, you know, being healthy so you don't have bad breath and bad body odor, bad habits like smoking and drinking, um, you know, not just your body as well, but your space as well, having a clean home, a clean car, 
clean workspace. This is one of the advantages of having a stay-at-home mum. So just general cleanliness. And of course, when it comes to sexual immorality, we also don't want to be encouraging fornication by you know, hugging and kissing and all these things that dating couples do that they ought not be doing. And the last one, number eight, is just being considerate. Being considerate as a Christian, the golden rule. Um, and what I'm talking about here is just common courtesy, saying please, saying thank you, saying hello with a smile, looking people in the eyes, you know, being a person of integrity, keeping your word, being punctual. You know, if you're going to be late, you let people know. You know, respecting the elderly and those that are in authority, standing up for the elderly, the disabled, for pregnant mothers. And what about the way you drive? Do you drive with courtesy and consideration? One thing that really bugs me when I go out and about is litter. You know, people just not respecting other people's property at the park, at the beach, in car parks, at the river, and just people just throwing, making a mess for other people to clean up. And that includes, you know, one thing that includes people taking shopping trolleys from the shops and taking them home and they're being scattered all through the neighborhood. You know, Christians ought not be doing that. So eight things every Christian should be doing, reading their Bible, going to church, prayer, soul winning, communication, thinking about how they talk, clothing and appearance, cleanliness and consideration. You know, these good habits, they start in the home. So are you doing the basics? You know, are you a spiritual ant or a spiritual sluggard? We need to stop making excuses and just start getting to work. All right, so if you want to listen to the whole sermon, there'll be a link in the description below and on the end screen. If this video was a blessing to you, give it a thumbs up. If you want to get our sermons, subscribe to the channel. And if you want to learn more about our church, you can visit our website, TCIL. Dot org dot au. Thanks for watching. Thanks for your support. And the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with you.